to effect. And we're in day three of back to school week. And this morning we have a look at what's on your child's lunch tray. Healthy eating does play a big role in many of our lives. And it's also a statewide goal for the cooks in school kitchens. KSNT News Austin Barnes is in the kitchen this morning with a pair of experts in eating. Good morning, Austin. Brittany, good morning. Now it's a lowdown on school lunch here this morning. Now I'm joined by Kelly Cheney with the Kansas Department of Education and Stan Vallis, the food service director with Auburn Washburn School District. Now, of course, kids are heading Back to school all week. We've got kids starting in Wamigo today, but what's going on inside the lunchroom? Now, Kelly, I want to turn to you. Now, we've seen quite a bit of healthy food here in front of us. So, what's going into creating healthy eating plans in schools across Kansas? Well, the nutrition standards or the guidelines that schools use to plan healthy school meals um, were updated with the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act of 2010. And um, the guidelines feature um, a lot of uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, a variety of fruits and vegetables, a variety of whole grain rich products, lean protein, low fat dairy, and the uh, nutrition guidelines that schools are using to plan the meals um, align with the dietary guidelines for Americans and have incorporated the recommendations from the Institute of Medicine. All right, yeah, and we were kind of talking off camera here. Things in cafeterias have changed so much since, you know, back in the day when some of the parents may have been in class, and even since I was in school just a few years ago, we won't say how many. Uh, now, Stan, I want to turn to you because we, like I said, we have quite a bit of food here. So can you tell us a little bit, I mean, is this what people are seeing in the Auburn Washburn District and, you know, on a normal day? Correct. This is a salad bar that I asked them to just make up while they made up theirs yesterday. So these are yesterday's meal. This is what was on the salad bar. The new standard guidelines enable us to just put out food we love, and all of this is fresh. Um, we get whole melons and celery and carrots, and we cut them up and put them out for the for the kids to eat, and uh, we eat this too. So we're very happy with that. Yeah, that's the most important part. As long as you like it, the kids will like it. And of course, we have you know the fruits and the veggies, but we've also got stuff like pizza and salads and wraps back here. So tell us a little about that and how the kids are responding. Well, we make a lot. We make all of our bread. So um, it's all made fresh every day, and we make pieces out of it and rolls and, you know, sandwich, uh, hamburger buns. So that's made fresh in the schools. So when you go into a school kitchen, it smells wonderful. So it's a great experience for everyone to come in through. Um, we make pieces and calzones and, and uh, muffins, uh, sandwiches, and, uh, and wraps. And we got some of those samples back here in the back for you. All right, yeah, all the good stuff there. It, it smells delicious in here. I'm looking forward to trying some of this later. Now, both Stan and Kelly are going to stick around with me here longer this morning, and we're going to keep chatting about what you can find in the lunchroom. Brittany, I'm going to send it back over to you, and I'm going to go ahead and chow down back here. Austin Barnes, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Austin. It certainly does look delicious back there. And on that note, today, schools in Wamigo are heading back. Here's what's for lunch for schools in District 320. You can find the daily lunch menus for each school on the